Greetings, everyone. Hi. I am pleased to be in your presence uh, at this momentum, at this uh, General Assembly, uh, and very pleased to be invited uh, to speak in front of everyone. Um, I am Nasef Adyong, uh, once upon a time a student of international studies at the uh, University of the East. Uh, and uh, what can I say about international studies uh, at the university? When I was trying to apply for a college uh, degree, um, I couldn't find myself to just be interested with the name international studies and what uh, are the things or content of the cur cur curriculum that I'm going to study. So I was very, very interested. And, and that's where the, you know, the history started, uh, especially that I dwell on deeply on the uh, literature of the study of the international. And that's the reason why I took a master's, a PhD, in international relations, you know, sometimes uh, all of this uh, nomenclature, whether international studies, international relations, international politics, international economics, uh, global affairs, globalization, they are, are all interrelated uh, because they all study uh, the word international, uh, whether there are uh, value chain of uh, relationship between and among uh, actors in the international system. Uh, and uh, that's also the reason why I, uh, way back so many years ago that I started to uh, uh, create a professional body called the Philippine International Studies Organization and I'm very, very, you know, proud of uh, the uh, organization or the association, uh, which, you know, you can call it FISO uh, because of its accomplishment that had obtained for just a very short time. Uh, we were recognized by several uh, professional bodies uh, globally and not only globally, but also in the Philippines that we were able to gather uh, many of the uh, uh, faculty, uh, uh, teachers, scholars, uh, practitioners, and students who are studying international studies. And uh, we have had many international conferences where many uh, foreign uh, uh, dignitaries and also foreign scholars had uh, been frequently visiting FISO in, in its annual conference. Uh, I think this November, we will be having our uh, exploratory workshop on the idea of uh, Southeast Asia in the international. Uh, and I am also uh, very happy to announce to everyone uh, that uh, FISO was able to publish a, I would say, a magnum opus called the International Studies uh, in the Philippines, uh, New Insights uh, or Mapping New uh, Theories and Praxis. Um, it is really a, a, a result of hard work of uh, of the core members of FISO um, and most of the articles, chapters included in the book uh, were looking at the lens of decoloniality or relations between coloniality and decoloniality and how the Philippines uh, uh, role uh, in the international community stand for. Um, and other, I would say other factors uh, um, that would somehow contribute to the Philippines as it's uh, uh, look at the worldview 
of the uh, uh, international relations. There were also talks about, uh, I think, uh, in its Philippine edition because it it is a joint publication. Although it was originally published by Routledge, but this year uh, we were able to concoct a contract, an agreement with Ateneo de Manila University Press to publish its local edition so that it will be uh, locally accessible and affordable for the students and faculty members of international studies uh, nationwide. Um, I think it, uh, you can purchase it uh, uh, at the rate or amount of 575 pesos. So you can actually, you know, uh, go to Shopee and purchase it. Um, so in the Philippine edition, there was a foreword written by uh, Walden Bello. And the introduction of the uh, book was also translated into uh, Tagalog language uh, by uh, Acuna, Tilde Acuna of a professor at the Filipino department at UP Diliman. And uh, there was also a new chapter on, uh, I would say, uh, South China Sea or Philippine West Sea. Uh, uh, West Philippine Sea. Um, and uh, a short essay on COVID-19. So there were some updates that uh, we need updating as we, uh, you know, publish the local Philippine edition of the International Studies in the Philippines book. Um, and uh, there will be a forthcoming uh, uh, publication uh, that is also a project of FISO, um, and it's called and it is called the Contemporary World. I think the the Contemporary World is a, uh, a mandated shared uh, general uh, subject in the college level. So I hope all uh, faculty members nationwide who are teaching the Contemporary World uh, will find it very very useful in their uh, pedagogy and learning. Uh, it is composed of, I think, more than uh, 20 plus uh, chapters that discusses uh, varied topics from uh, nation state, globalization, global religion, uh, global citizenship, global cities, uh, sustainable development, international, uh, international terrorism, among others. So um, I think that's it. Uh, I welcome you all uh, uh, as you journey on to your international studies uh, uh, journey, or, and hopefully you can uh, develop and create your own career uh, in international studies. So good luck and thank you uh, for the invitation uh, to speak uh, in the presence of all the IS students at the University of the East uh, Manila. Thank you.